um, not the easiest thing in the world. I kind of feel like I'm going to be sitting here blending for days. Um, this is not the easiest. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I'm right-handed. So I'm using my left hand to do all of this. Um, I'm gonna be here for like an hour. Just on foundation. Taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm gonna conceal my under eye. This is oh my gosh, this is so weird. Okay, um, I'm just gonna kind of blend this out with the beauty blender. Ugh. That does not look good. Hopefully it looks okay on camera, but in person, like, I can totally tell that it's not, I'm not giving it the right amount of pressure to make things blend smoothly, and I can't, like, get the nooks and crannies, because I'm not very skilled with my- oh my. <laughs> okay. Alright, um... I feel like I'm being so, like, malicious with my skin. that nothing falls. Okay. No. Okay, I think I'm ready now. Now I said I can be bothered to do my hair or, you know, put some nice clothes on or something for you guys. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. We're going to start with the eyes. We're going to take the shade from ColourPop. It's called DGAF. And we're gonna pop that on the lid with the left hand. So weird. I'm gonna try to get closer to the camera here. Oh no. This is hard. It's really hard, guys. Personally, but everything is just kind of in slow motion it feels so I'm gonna speed this up real quick right, so I'm still blending good enough no the inner corner is not blended Okay, good enough. Um, I'm gonna stop there because if I don't, we'll never move on. I'm going to take my Morphe palette. I'm going to take this golden shade and I'm gonna kind of put that on the lid as well. in the center there. <laughs> feels so uncoordinated. And makeup's like the only thing I feel coordinated at, so. And I'm going to put that in the crease. So hard to make like circle motions. Oh my god. That is not easy. That is not easy. I feel like I want to start over and do this with my right hand. 
<laughs> I'm trying, guys. Okay, um... The other eye. There we go. It's a little easier, I think. So slow. Well, now we're gonna darken it up with this shade. Boy. Okay. That's uh, that's streaky as um, I'll get out. So hopefully I can fix that. Kind of like a taupe color, but it has a little more yellow to it. And we're gonna kind of just clean that up. There we go. That works. Thank you, transition colors. You save makeup. Okay. Might take that a little in the crease too, actually, because I did not blend that shadow properly. So I'm gonna um, take that shade again, the tiniest, tiniest bit, and hopefully it'll help uh, soften it. It's gonna have to be good enough, I mean, what do you do? The odds are kind of against me here. Okay. So there are the eyes. That took me like a half hour to do. I'm gonna be inspired by like gold. So I think I'm going to do a gold highlight. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that shade from the 350S palette and um, I'm going to apply that to the brow bone like this. Have no patience. You will not like this challenge. <laughs> okay. 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 So. That's our kind of goldish highlight going on. I'm gonna kind of blend it. I can't even like, okay, I kind of can, but okay, that's a little easier. Okay. 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 Like, I'm trying to do a good job here. Like, I hope you can tell. Shade again. Okay. Eyes. Oh god, I still have the bottom eye to do. Going with DJ AF from ColourPop, and I'm gonna put that on the bottom lash line, and hopefully it won't need to be blended out. <laughs> We're gonna finish off the eyes because it's taking forever. Taking far too long. that. This is our liner that I used for the top and I'm going to line the bottom waterline. I can't even do it. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Okay. 
cow. Kind of try to give that last line some definition. Okay. Okay, so there are the eyes. Ow. All right. And so it's all nice and blended. I'm just going to take that shadow again, that lighter one, that transition shade, and I'm going to attempt to kind of blend it out even further, very lightly. Okay. Brace for impact. Okay. I feel like I'm at an advantage because I have an angled brush and a gel product to work with. Okay, they're definitely not even. <laughs> As you can see, like my foundation, like kind of whatever. I mean, it's just doing its own thing up there, so. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be too hard. It's just the brow gel, so. Yeah, it's not too difficult. Like this. And I'm going to brown the face. It's definitely not hard by any means, but it does still slow you down. Like, it's not fast. That feels really strange. Oh my gosh, I don't like it. From Tarte, and it's called Sensual. And I'm gonna put this like under the cheekbones. Hopefully that looks okay on camera. And we're gonna do a holy crap ton of highlight, as usual.
I'm gonna do a peachy sort of lip. What is this? Push up? Sure, let's do push up. <laughs> and I'm gonna kind of Uh, my lips are like honestly so dry right now so I'm probably gonna go on top of this with a gloss Okay, so I'm kind of at a weird angle right now, but I'm just taking my gloss. It's Lip Vex Lip, Glo Lip Gloss. Um, it's from Sigma. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my lips. I love this gloss. And I find that this gloss is just super glittery. So it's perfect for the holidays. And metallic lips are all the rage right now, which I'm loving. I'm a little crazy though. All right, so hopefully you could just see that. Hopefully you could see that. Um, that's it for the finished look. Believe it or not, I'm actually done. And for those of you who want to try this challenge, go for it. It's very tedious. It takes a long time if you're doing a complex look. Um, and cover all your mistakes with highlight. Okay.